So what if a lie is beyond our comprehension? What if it's too big? What if we go, there's no way that we fell for that? There's, it's too obvious. How the fuck do we fall for that? May, but maybe we do. It's possible. Do, do most people trust the governments? The year I started uni, they said that they would not raise tuition fees and then they tripled them. We got fucked over. <laughs> Governments fuck you over all the time. Corporations run countries now. It's not politicians. They're just the figureheads. They're just the puppets. Douglas Adams, one of my heroes the great author of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. He came up with so many good inventions. These machines that were just ideas in, in a lot of his books. One of the ideas that really struck me was um, the idea of this thing called the somebody else's problem field. The idea behind the somebody else's problem field is that when you're faced with something that you can't comprehend that is so ridiculous against all of your um, previously held uh, perception of reality. You simply can't see it at all. It just appears to not be there. There's a spaceship that uses it to be invisible, basically. But in his analogy, there's this wizard that tries to c conceal a mountain and he tries all this crazy magic and, and he makes a bet about it and the last day before the deadline. He just decides to paint the mountain pink, like bright pink. And then he erects like a, a basic um, somebody else's problem field around the mountain. And because it's so ridiculous and unrealistic, people don't see it. It's like it's invisible. I think this is the problem people have when they're faced with the brutal reality. The actual fucked up truth behind animal agriculture. The fact that it is that bad. It involves torture and rape and kidnap and all of these people who get this power complex where um, they have something weaker than them that they can control and they have their own securities and so like it's not just the processes that torture these things the people themselves start to become monsters but stamping on a little baby piglet's head, electrocuting a cow's udders because they wanted something better, they once had ambition and they ended up working in these messed up factories. These things are real, you just don't... You don't want to realise that you've been that lied to. Nobody does. I didn't. It... It crushed me to realise these things, to see these things. It's not easy. The hardest part about going vegan is seeing all the apathy and all the lies around because when you, when you finally make the connection, you see it everywhere. You know? You don't just feel bad for the animals, you feel bad for the people still stuck in this delusion. We're trying to wake you up. You think we put this effort in for nothing. It's like a, some kind of form of entertainment. You think people get this passionate and this upset and work this hard. There's not much money in challenging people's strongly held beliefs. You might have a few thousand subscribers on YouTube, but you're not going to get very far when the subject matter you're talking about, no one wants to hear it. Why would we bother? We get so angry and so worked up about these things. It's because most of us grew up in this delusion too. We're not all born not eating meat and dairy and eggs and all of these things. Some of us are, if we were lucky enough to have awakened parents. But, but we went through that process too and the reason we keep drilling it and drilling it and drilling it is because we were there before and we realised and. It might have taken us years. It took me years. I had some vegan friends in secondary school and I thought they were I thought they were crazy. I was like, come on guys, what do you even eat? Do you like and you don't eat cheese? I was a fucking cheese enthusiast. I have a friend from university and he he didn't really eat cheese, he didn't really like it, and I was just like, I convinced him to like cheese. What a fuck.
fucking tool. I'm such a tool. Be because I, I didn't see the destructive thing with it then. I didn't see it, but now I do. This is why we get angry. We're angry at our former selves and we know that we can wake up and we know that you can wake up too. We know that you will realize eventually the world has to realise eventually, or we're all gonna go, it's all fucked. If you see how much environmental destruction alone. If you wanna be selfish, extend your sense of self. Realise the symbiosis, realise how much you're connected to everything else and how much everything depends on everything else. You depend on the planet, you depend on the plants to produce your oxygen, you depend on the worms making the soil and you, you depend on the, the oceans and the water and... If we keep shitting where we eat, if we keep fucking it up so much there'll be nothing left. If you want to be selfish, defend your home, defend your body. The bacteria in your gut are no different to the fucking rainforest you're destroying out there. You need them all equally. And we pollute ourselves, that's why we get angry too. You can't even legally, on an advertisement, call an egg fit for human consumption. Because it's not food. <laughs> It makes you ill. I've seen it. I've seen it so much. We don't want to see that we've been fooled. It's hard to admit we're wrong and it's hard to admit that we participated in it. And we were a part of it and we paid for it. We once paid for these terrible things to happen. That's the hardest part of going vegan, living with your former self. But that's the only way you can live with yourself. Stop doing the things that are fucking everything up. There's so much good, nutritious, tasty as fuck vegan food. There's so much vegan junk food that tastes amazing that you can have if you still want to be a slob. You can go for it. You don't have to eat nothing but bananas. We're just asking you to look into it. We don't want to admit that it was so easy to fool us, but it was. It was. It is. So just let go of that and come join us, angry annoying people on the other side. Share some really good healthy food and feel better. Try and make a change. Be on the right side of history.